Hi there, I'm Raf Garcia, a director at UK Education Guide, a UK leading comparison portal for international students, helping them and their family make really well informed decisions about studying in the UK. So in this short video, it is my privilege to introduce a video guide to the University of Southampton. In this short video guide, we're going to explore the offering at the University of Southampton from an international student perspective by asking questions of their international officer and one of their current international students. So let's hear what they have to say. So first of all, I am delighted to introduce Elodie, who is the international officer at the University of Southampton. Elodie, welcome. Thank you, Raf. Thanks for having me. You're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. So let's dive straight into the first question. And that is, what are the two key aspects of support your university offers international students to help them transition to degree study? Yes, I'd really like to highlight the academic and English supports as the first one. So, you know, we recognise that it's a big transition from school to university for, for students. Um, you know, they're going to spend much more time working on their research skills, critical thinking and much more independent learning also. So there's there's major adjustments that need to be made here. And um, we've got um, a, a very good um, innovative program that's been designed to support students in that transition, especially for students who are studying at research intensive universities, so at Russell Groups, so it call, it's called the Learn With Us Transition Program. And my colleague Emma Thompson, um, who will be giving a talk um, at the fair, uh, is head of engagement, and she'll be talking about uh, the academic support that we provide students. So um, I really invite students to, to listen to that. And so if students are preparing for um, a qualification such as the EPQ or the independent project qualification or the extended essay, for example, in, in the IB, so anything that has a research component, um, the team provides um, all the academic support for that and then work really closely with schools and colleges around the country. Um, we also have the Academic Centre for International Students, and they provide lots of support for international students, especially with the English skills. So it could be academic writing, could be speaking, critical thinking skills, um, intercultural communication skills, lots. And so that's once the students have started, they can take those free um, courses also during, during their degree. Uh, there's lots more. But yeah, you asked me for two, so that's sort of one that's linked together. The other one would be the well-being um, aspect um, support, which is really key for students, especially after you know what we've been through with the pandemic. So we've got the student well-being team, which is um, um, open twenty-four-seven for students. So also on on holidays, um, they can chat with an advisor whenever they need. Um, they can also do um, short-term counselling sessions uh, with us and we'll be there to signpost them to, to all, you know, the, the services that they need. And they also organise lots of workshops such as um, mindfulness workshops, um, ex um, reducing exam stress also uh, workshops. Um, and lots of things like that. Um, and we have a well-being, also uh, mental health uh, week, um, also where we where we do lots of activities for our students. So I'd really like to highlight those two uh, key aspects, academic English, but also the well-being support for our students. Absolutely. It's delivering that whole wraparound package. So in terms of international students, um, what... What is the one kind of piece of advice you'd like to offer them as they consider their university options? Yeah, as they consider their university options, I would say to students, just keep your options open as much as possible, as long as possible. So start your research really early. There's so many resources you can access online nowadays. So you can listen to open day talks. Um, you can, you know, read the, the web page, you can contact staff, you can speak to current students, to alumni, academic members of staff, so the people who will be teaching you, you can also speak to them. So make sure you keep your options open. So don't be set necessarily on a specific university early on. Just try and do your research and see what's best from you from what comes out of this research. So give yourself some time and also engage with us as much as possible. 
And once you've done all that online or telephone research, make sure that once you've selected those four or five universities you'd like to apply for, you come and visit them also. So it's really important to get a feel for the place where you're going to study at and whether that's the right place for you also. Absolutely. I, I couldn't agree more. Doing your research, but also going to get a real feel. And, and not, there's nothing like a, a campus tour or a visit to sort of get you to do that. So that's wonderful. Thank you so much for your insights. And now it's time to hear from one of your students. So let's hear what they have to say. Welcome. How are you getting on? Hi, Rav. Thanks for having me. I'm doing great. You're Thank you. Welcome. Great to have you joining us today. Um, let's dive into a little bit about you before we get into our questions. Um, so tell me a bit about yourself. What course are you on? Uh, what year are you studying? And, and where are you from? Right, so hello, my name is Joel Abbey. I'm from the Philippines and I'm a third year undergraduate student. So right now I'm studying physics with astronomy. Very cool, very, very cool. So we're gonna dive straight into our questions, which are, um, First of all, what are the top two reasons why you selected the University of Southampton? Right, so when choosing a university, I've had a couple of things in mind, but I mostly prioritise the course structure, what they have to offer for my specific course and the type of campus I'd be studying in. So first reason, it's a bit more course specific, but when I've done my extensive research, um, with the opportunities offered by the University of Southampton, I found that the modules that they offered provided a good balance between practical lab, practical applications and the more theoretical modules. So you can easily see this when you enter into their site and when you search up uh, course modules, and that's what I've done. I've also read uh, testimonials by students, uh, what they've thought about the course, what they particularly liked, and the optional modules they offered. So keeping all of this in mind, I knew I was able to get a glimpse of the type of work I'd be doing within the industry and within academia itself if I had pursued this course in Southampton. And this would allow me to sort of get an idea, like a full idea of what it really means to pursue my degree um, as a career in the future. And the second reason is, um, honestly, what drew me to Southampton was the campus itself. So I've had the chance to visit Southampton one of their open days. And honestly, Southampton has such a gorgeous campus. And it's just it's just the vibe of just being around with students. is It's just quite amazing. It feels very welcoming, very homely for me. And if you want a quick break, you can walk around the campus, visit the garden to decompress, or walk around the forest in the back. Lecture halls are also a walk away from each other. So most of the time, you don't even need to travel out of the campus. And it's just so convenient to have everything found in one place. So whether you need to grab a bite or meet up with friends to study or to catch up, you, everything can be done, done in one place. Absolutely. And, and there's so mm -hmm. much to be said for actually if you can visiting the institutions, mm -hmm. because you can only, re it is very difficult to get the feeling, as you say, to get the vibe when you're, when you're not actually there. So I think two brilliant reasons. And, and just, yeah, we implore all students if, if they can, make sure you you visit visit the campuses so mm -hmm. now we're going to move on to my favorite question of the whole interview <laughs> and it is what is the one thing you think you'll remember most about your life at university when you look back in 10 years time uh, this is this is quite a question um i will definitely remember the people i encountered in university um when you come to university you sort of realize that it is a melting of different cultures and you have the chance to talk to people from different countries all over the world and it is a privilege to be able to meet people to listen to their own experience and their story and how they came to the UK and it's amazing and because everyone is in the same boat as you in university you get to create so many friendships and meaningful connections uh, with people you couldn't even imagine so whether they're decades older than you or younger than you or from places just miles away from you, it's just so rewarding to be able to grow with them as you progress through your degree. Absolutely. And and mm -hmm. and, and, and it's, it's also worth reflecting on how that your experience as international students and the value that you add to the campus is so important. Mm -hmm. 
all the flavors, all the all the different ways in which we're we're all different. What the campus campus experience does so well is it, it helps people celebrate that. So I think that's a, a very very good reason, and and I think for a lot of students, what when they look back on their experience, what what they say as well. So moving into our last question, uh, and it's it's a relatively tough one, and it's what is the one thing you wish that someone told you about university life that would have helped you transition to your degree study? Um. Personally, well, this is, yeah, personally, I wish someone had told me to really take things at my own pace. If I had known this advice in my first year, I wouldn't have spent so much time stressing over my grades <laughs> or feel the pressure with my future plans. And I feel like when you transition from high school to university, you sort of get this feeling that you have to have everything figured out. But reality is, is that sometimes you won't you won't really have everything figured out. And, you know, that's completely normal. That's completely fine. So really just take things at your own pace. Take things one step at a time and always remember to cultivate yourself outside of academics as well, because at the end of the day, pursuing your interests outside of academics, learning how to build proper relationships with people, with the people around you. Um, working on your own personal development and as well learning how to maintain your mental and emotional health is equally as important dare I say even more important because now I know that going to university isn't only just about getting a degree it's also a journey where you sort of explore and build your character through the choices that you make every single day so what you do outside of academics as well matters a lot because these are the lessons that you will take along with you as you venture out into the real world after you graduate. Absolutely. I, I couldn't couldn't have put it better myself. And mm -hmm. and particularly as international students, there is they, they do feel so much pressure, whether it be mm -hmm. from their families or just from their previous experiences that they sort of come and try and hit the ground running, but just in terms of academics. Whereas, as you say, exactly, look at all the facets of life, look at the, all the facets of the university experience. And, and as you say, cultivate the, the, the journey that's going to help you prosper in the long run the most. So an absolutely stunning answer. And, um, and on that note, I would love to invite you all back on the call. Elodie, Jewel, thank you so much for your insights today. I know they'll be invaluable to our international students. So on that note, I look forward to catching up soon. See you later. Thank you. Thank bye. You bye. 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 bye.